The Gospel reading for today is St. Luke's version of the first call of the disciples of Jesus. It differs significantly from the parallel versions in the Gospel of Mark and Matthew, and it is actually a combination of passages from Mark and John. The Gospel today tells us that Jesus was standing by the shore of the Lake of Gennesaret. The other Gospel writers call it the Sea of Galilee or the Sea of Tiberias. They all refer to the same body of water. Because of the large crowds pressing in on Jesus to listen to the Word of God, our Lord was forced to borrow one of the boats moored near the shore where their owners were washing their nets. The Gospel says, Jesus got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, Peter, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then Jesus sat down and taught the crowds from the boats. Sitting was the usual teaching position. From a practical point of view, by preaching from the boat, Jesus could avoid the pressure of the crowd and yet be close enough to speak to them. My dear brothers and sisters, it is a simple, a straightforward statement and yet there is a symbolism here. Jesus gets into Simon's boat and teaches from it. In the Gospel, the boat is frequently used as a symbol of the church community. The boat is a symbol of the church. It is very meaningful to say that Jesus stepped into that boat, that it was Peter's boat, and that he taught from there. It is a symbol of what is to come in the future. Now comes the lesson and the revelation. At the end of the teaching, Simon is told to go out into the deep water and start fishing. And Simon says to Jesus, Master, we have worked hard all night. We have caught nothing. Remember that Simon is a fisherman. He is an expert fisherman. And yet Simon said, Yet, if you say so, I will lay down the nets. My dear brothers and sisters, there is something of the condescension of the expert towards the amateur. Remember that Peter is a fisherman, Jesus is a carpenter. What does a carpenter know about fishing? But Peter followed what Jesus instructed him with. We know there are no fish there, Lord, but to make you happy, we will put out the nets and the fishermen followed the instruction of the carpenter but their nets were hardly in the water when they were so full of fish that the nets were on the point of breaking that is why peter and those with him on the boat had to call their companions in the other boat to come to help them and the two boats together were now so full of fish that the two boats were on the point of sinking. And just before Peter, so arrogant and all-knowing, is totally overwhelmed. Peter is overcome. He knew there were no fish there. There were no fish on that part of the water. Peter knew it. The man standing before him was someone very special this man who told him throw away throw down your nets again for a catch of fish and when peter realized that yes there are no fish on that part of the water he followed jesus he realized that before him is somebody very special that is why peter exclaimed go away from me o lord i am a sinful man. 
It is an acknowledgement of his sinfulness. It is an acknowledgement of his incompleteness, of his inadequacy. As we face the Lord in the Eucharist, let us also acknowledge our inadequacy. Let us acknowledge our incompleteness. Let us acknowledge our sinfulness. And the following scene tells us that the companions of Peter, James, and John, they were equally amazed. But towards the end of the gospel, the Lord says, Peter, do not be afraid. My dear friends, this is the same assurance that Jesus is telling us today. We have our own share of fears. We have our own share of anxieties and concerns and issues in our life. The Lord is also whispering to us, Do not be afraid. My dear brothers and sisters, when they had brought their boats to the shore, Peter and the other disciples, they left everything, everything, and they followed Jesus. One simple comment about this statement. They left everything, they followed Jesus. This is faith. Faith. This is trust. This is faith. This is trust. Amen.